hello, and welcome to Able Talk for the month of May. Uh, thanks for your support, members and patrons. If you would like to become a uh, member or patron for my channel, um, there's a there's some links in the description below. Uh, if you're a member, you can see all of these, uh, you know, able talk streams, and you can also enjoy a little emoji and stuff like that. But the uh, thing that I think will be most valuable so far is being able to see my videos three days early, especially with this new series that I'm releasing, the, um, the quote series. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, all right, so let me just get settled here. So today, I am thinking of showing you guys a Warcraft 3 patch that came out. It's actually like a month old. I meant to do it last month. Oh, whoops. Alright, cool. A little music there. Alright. So, yeah, sorry for rambling. Let's get started with Able Talk today. Alright, so we got a, this is just for the test uh, development thing for um, Warcraft 3. I guess you can download a um, test environment if you guys want to uh, test Warcraft 3, like the new changes they're making, presumably to like prepare for uh, uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged. Um, but they are doing a lot of balance changes, uh, Blizzard is, and I don't really care too much about those because I'm terrible at Warcraft 3, like actually playing it and stuff, but the world editor has a lot of changes that I think are kind of cool. So I'm just going to go through those uh, and just like kind of tell you, I guess, like how, like my thoughts on them and stuff. Um, all right, so... Uh, maps can now be saved and loaded as folders as well as MPQs. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, allows maps to be manipulated and developed by multi person teams more easily. That's really cool. I'm guessing that it saves like the object data and the map data and stuff separately so that you can work on different parts as a team. That's really, really cool. I think my brother and I could make good use of that. That'd be really fun. Um, uh, loose files on a map are now auto imported in a world editor. Not sure what that is. Community created function support. Um, <laughs> editor now creates a backup ma map on save. That's really good as well. So, just a lot of really useful utility based ones, it looks like. Um, script stuff that's a little bit advanced for me when creating new objects in the object editor you now given the option to customize it that sounds interesting too because usually you have to base it on other ones but maybe there are customizable actions like adding specific I don't know like starting it out as a hero or something giving it hero abilities I don't know I don't even know how much of this will interest you guys um, especially if you're not that big of a map um, maker, but anyway, um, alright, so competitive updates, Devour can now target mountain giants without resistance skin oh, resistance skin is uh, researchable, I forgot about that that'd be really cool, funny though for Kodo to devour an entire mountain giant um, paladins equipped with an orb item no longer have a slower attack speed when attacking air units I didn't know that Ultra Vision Upgrade is now applied to Mountain Giants, Spirits of Vengeance, and Avatars of Vengeance. Interesting as well. I didn't know that those didn't apply. Alright, so these are kind of interesting. Hero Balance changes. Some of these are just little, but I think they made some big changes to like some of the spells or something, which is interesting. So, 
cooldown now occurs when Windwalk breaks. That's nice. Uh, if you know Blade Masters, the cooldown starts immediately when they do Windwalk, like when they cast it. So now that's a little more balanced because you cast it, you make use of the critical strike attack and stuff, and then and then it starts cooling down. So you don't just like wait till it's done and yeah, spam it. Reduce the cooldown of Windwalk from five seconds to two seconds. Okay, it's a little step in the other direction, but I guess that makes sense. That just ensures that there's at least two seconds after breaking wind walk to do it again. Critical strike now benefits from all damage. Once again, not just base damage. Apparently, yeah, I didn't know that, that it used to be base. I don't know a lot of stuff. I'm not a player. I'm a map maker. Maybe we'll make something today. Um, life drain now applies the dark minion effect of the current rank of black arrow. That's really cool. That means she, when she starts draining life, they all turn into a skeleton if they die from it. Really, really cool. Um, and they, it's cool. Like if you guys look at this, uh, I can put a link in the description if you guys want. But um, if you guys read this, I've got like dev comments, which are really cool. Um, again, it's all kind of news to me because I'm not a player and I don't even know that these things aren't balanced or whatever but well, honestly what I'm just really excited about is that Warcraft 3 is being updated like it's being thought about which is such a big pleasure to me because I mean it wasn't ever really broken I mean maybe it was imbalanced on multiplayer or something but it's just so it, it was just kind of stunted you know it's like okay this game is 15 years old now it's just kind of it's kind of done you know but no, they're like looking way back and saying, you know, Drain Life and Black Arrow didn't synergize, so this is how we're fixing it. It's really cool. Um, especially, you know, being used to reading patches for like uh, Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm and whatnot. Um, did I say Hearthstorm? <laughs> Hearthstone. Anyway, reading those patch updates, it's really cool to just see Warcraft 3 updates. Sometimes it doesn't seem real to me. Tauren, Tauren now start with a reduced pulverize that deals 20 damage. That's cool. And then you upgrade the pulverize to do more damage. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, and that comment's really cool. Basically, it's just saying it's rare to see Tauren on the battlefield because, um, like, they're late game creations, I guess. Uh, spike barricades reduce the number of upgrade levels from 3 to 2. Cool. I like that. Um... Yeah, it never was very good, but now it's got a percentage base of the attacker's damage, which is really cool. So if, like, a huge mountain giant smashes that, it's actually going to do quite a bit of damage. Alright, so here's some balance changes with the knight. New upgrade, Sundering Blades. Research at the barracks. Um, increases knight's damage against medium armor by 15%. One thing I don't like about Warcraft 3 is all the armor types and attack types. I think there's too many. I think there should have been light, medium, and heavy armor, maybe fortified as well, and then like, I don't know, piercing, slashing, and magic damage? I don't know. I, I would have just done it a little bit more simple because I don't know what, off the top of my head, what units have medium armor. Uh, the comment says it's it, it's good against, let's see, knights to be more threatening versus ranged units they chase down. Okay, so I guess a lot of ranged units have medium armor, so that makes sense. Um, but that's really cool, a, a new upgrade, like a straight up new ability, so that's going to be kind of cool to see like a new um, icon for the knights uh, to be able to research. And Sundering Blades, that's interesting. Uh, Knights don't really have any upgrades except for the animal war training, which is boring. So that, that makes me really happy that knights are getting some love. Uh, oh, and animal war training, speaking of, is going to be a little different. The hit points are all increased. Um, oh, never mind. So the hit points are down with animal war training, but all of the units that benefit it just normally have hit points. Um, okay, I don't get it. Alright, so the Orb of Fire was probably nerfed. Bonus damage reduced from 10 to 5. Yep, no longer gives area of effect damage. What? That's sad, because that used to be... I mean, that was like the whole point of the Orb of Fire. 
and hopefully they'll keep the old one in the game just as like a so I can keep the effect if I want that in my abilities. But the new effect is kind of interesting. On a hit, applies a debuff that decreases the effectiveness of healing abilities and hit point regeneration by 50%. That's cool. I like that. There's nothing really in the game like that yet, and so that could be useful even just as a passive ability for units on the world editor. I like that. It seems like that was a, kind of a new idea. Like There's some units on Heroes of the Storm that have that ability, so cool. I like that. And now it's an anti-healing ability. Oh yeah, and humans have the Orb of Fire, so it's not like a rare one like the Orb of Frost. I guess that makes sense, that it would kind of be like a tactical decision for the actual human race. Um, and it could be useful for ones that were like against enemies that benefit a lot by healing, or have a lot of healing units. Glaive Thrower now increases projectile speed by a lot, so it shoots faster, I guess. Um, and it doesn't have homing missiles, which is kind of funny. Um, that makes sense for a siege unit, honestly. Not much to say there. Hippogriff Rider increased the hit points by 5. Oh, the Hippogriff Riders emerge of both the Hippogriff and Archer. This means they share hit points as well. Okay. Wait, archers only have five hit points? That's weird. That's cool, though, that they're just like, this doesn't make sense, so we're changing it, even though it doesn't affect balance that much. Good for them. Gargoyle movement speed increased. Gold cost reduced. Okay. Yeah, they could chase down flying machines and stuff better. Works for me. Um, alright, okay, this is cool. Necromancer, new spell order. First they get crippled, then raise dead, then unholy frenzy, instead of having raised dead immediately. Uh, cripple is now 85 men, I don't know if that's higher or lower off the top of my head. Um, and then unholy frenzy is renamed to be called Incite Unholy Frenzy, which is kind of stupid. Like, why? You know? Why? Uh, and now it's different. There's an area of effect, and you sacrifice a target-friendly undead unit, and then all nearby units gain Unholy Frenzy. Yeah, see, I don't know why it's called Incite Unholy Frenzy. Like, just... I mean, I guess you're killing a unit to incite it among... I don't know, it's dumb. But that's interesting. That's completely different, because you basically destroy a unit, and everybody all around them goes crazy. Um, I actually want to... Uh, Oh, and Skeletal Mastery requires Necromancer Adept training to unlock. I like that. That's going to be nice, because from what I hear, like Necromancers with their raised dead is kind of overpowered, so this is going to make it a little bit more late game, which would be interesting. Again, though, I might be the wrong person to be talking about this, because I'm not into balance or anything like that. Necromancers must be produced in large numbers right away in order to summon many skeletons, as their single target spells are locked behind the Necromancer training upgrades. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's actually, it's not really to nerf the Necromancer, it's to just kind of make them have an ability right off the bat that can be useful, uh, cripple, stuff like that. Um, yeah, whatever. Ghoul Frenzy is increased, that's good, because I didn't really notice that Ghoul Frenzy made them attack very fast, so... And there's a new item. It's a Ritual Dagger, uh, bought from the Tomb of Relics. So now it has, basically, you sacrifice a friendly undead unit, and you heal 100 hit points to all friendly, non, basically, organic units around it. So that's cool. It's kind of like Insight Holy Frenzy, except it just kind of is a... It's kind of like a, uh, oh, Dark Ritual. Or, that might I might be mixing it up with Pact of... <laughs> I'm so bad. Um... The Death Knight and Lich ability. Death Knight ability is the healing one, but it, yeah, heals units around it. That's interesting. I wonder why they're... Well, let's find out. Uh, the, they'll have it, the Undead Race will have access to an early game healing effect outside of the Death Knight. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Okay, items. These are always fun to see how they change the items. Boots of Speed. Uh, so now creeps don't generally drop them, but you can buy them at Goblin Merchants. Huh. That's interesting. Oh. It's kind of just to 
stop people from... I guess boots of speed are really good. I'm so bad, you guys. Um, I'm more accustomed... I'm, I'm more suited to, like, being a dungeon master in D&D than playing Warcraft 3, because I just like crafting the world, making the abilities, that sort of thing. I'm bad at, like, multitasking and stuff like that that's needed for strategy games. Uh, rings of protection. Uh, so they're all buffed, basically. The ring plus two is now a ring plus three, and so forth. And the, uh, yeah, I guess they're all upped a little bit. Across all levels, the gold price moves up. Uh, oh, I guess they're underpowered compared to other items in their tier, so the armor is better. Cool. Cloak of Shadows. Heroes carrying this item can now shadow meld during the day as well as the night. That's interesting. Huh. Interesting. So, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be at night. It's not just a shadow meld cloak. You can actually just disappear in the day. That's really cool. Kind of weird to wrap my head around that because it's been, you know, a certain way all this time. But pretty cool. Works for me. Um... And I guess it's more flexible. Makes sense. Tomb of Experience is no longer a random drop from creep camps. Makes sense. It's kind of lame to just get free experience. War Song Battle Drums now provides the same War Drums command or a buff as Code of Beasts. Oh, okay. So before it could stack. That makes sense. It should totally... Yeah, that should make sense. It shouldn't be Command Aura or whatever. And then Devotion Aura for the Lion Horn of Stormwind is better. Makes sense, because they're lame... It should be at least the same as a level one hero ability. Makes sense to me. Periaptive vitality. Gold price reduced from 350 to 325. I don't really get cost ones. Uh, I guess it's just more expensive than other ones in the tier. Crystal ball. Item level decreased. Yeah, item level is another thing I don't get at all. And so it was reduced. Sentry wards. Duration decreased from five minutes to three minutes. That's true. Sentry wards, if you're familiar with them, last a really long time. <laughs> and then these are hilarious. Map changes. I don't. It's it's funny that people even like memorize which maps are which, because I have no idea. And it's like, moved some trees or whatever, which is pretty funny. Yeah, look at this. Changed creep camp or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty hilarious. Small visual terrain changes. I would never have noticed. Blah, 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 blah. Is that all? Is it just m maps now? I thought that there was... That's odd. I thought that there was more map editor things. Did I miss something? Hmm. Yeah, public test realm if you guys want to uh, get it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess that the there aren't as many uh, that I thought. Oh, how did I miss these? This is weird. Okay, so yeah, there are world editor changes too. So um, globals, blah blah. Dude, add height is now an adjustable property. That's nice. I like that. So like, you can make trees. You can change the height instead of just the scale, which is nice. Uh, or maybe it's... No, no, it's not... I wonder if it's height or, like, floating. Like, like how high it is or how tall it is. I don't know. Either way, it's useful. Oh, I'm creating new... Okay, I already got that. Okay, maybe I did look at these. Cool, cool. Yeah, whatever. All right, so I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, progress with Warcraft 3. It's pretty awesome. All right, so... Um, oh, yeah. And, um, <laughs> guys, 10,000 subscribers. Not even just 10,000, but, like, 10,700. I don't know how that happened. I'm, I'm really grateful to uh, have that many subscribers now. It's surreal to me that that many people have come. Uh, it, it appears that this quote... Uh, series is really popular already, so that's really good too. It just brought me here a lot faster than I thought. Um, but I think I'm going to, next month in June, like mid-June, I'm going to make a bunch of 
long streams for uh, non-members, for everybody. And I'm going to be basically just walking through the making of uh, an entire map of some kind. Because I think that would be kind of a fun way to celebrate. And I could walk through all the triggers and that and just kind of help you guys know how to make a map. But let's mess around with something for now. I can, I can uh, choose something. I don't know. Let's just let's just play around. Um, actually, you know what? I've got a better idea. So I was thinking of making this a series, but it might just be more fun to stream it so you guys can just get my candid feedback. So the. Um, there's a bunch of maps that I made when I was a kid, and I was going to call this like Able Maps or something, but um, yeah, I, and maybe I will in the future, but you guys can get a sneak peek. So these are all my maps that I made when I was a kid. Um, it's kind of funny, whenever I was a when I was a kid, I would always make like paradise maps on all the games I played, like Heroes of Might and Magic and stuff, where basically I would just make this paradise area where I was the hero and it was all these cool places I could go and stuff. It's pretty funny. Alright, so let's just look at some of these, shall we? Um, I wonder, no, there's no way to tell like which ones I made first, because I might have updated them. Alright, let's just, let's just look at these. Um, Sure. I remember this one. So again, these are maps from a really long time ago. Actually, when we open another one, let's uh, see exactly how old they are. So this is... Oh, that's hilarious. It's actually broken. So I made this really early on. It's basically Warcraft Chess. Um, and it's funny that I didn't even bother to make them like two different factions. They're just both humans. And I think in the game I change them to be like a different color. Heck, let's let's test it out. But I just thought it was cool that I was like, oh, they've got, you know, different, they've got the matching, um, uh, they've got the matching, you know, models for a, a chess thing. Okay, good, the, the human tower worked. So, yeah, here's chess. Basically, I zoomed out already kind of foggy. I don't know why I chose to do the dungeon um, the uh, dungeon thing. Oh crap. Okay, looks like this is not showing up. Which really sucks because I don't know how to fix that. So dang, that might change things. Maybe it'll, this is what happened last month and it was really frustrating. But you guys saw the world editor, right? Let me just wait and see if that shows up. Ah, uh, curse you streaming software. Yeah, it looks like it's blank. Um, let me see if I can reset something here. And how long has it been like that? It was shown on the website though. Dang it. This is so lame, yeah, it's just it's just gonna be black for no reason. <sighs> oh crap guys, this is lame. Oh, 
Maybe that did it. Okay, hopefully that fixed it. I don't really know what I did, but we'll see if that fixed it. Sorry, there's like a delay on my end, so I have to wait to see it before I can actually tell if it's working or not. I think it's I think it's working. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is basically Warcraft chess. Um, it was kind of funny to see the towers move and stuff. Um, I think I gave them the voice of like siege tanks, which was pretty funny too. So they're like big mechanical rolling um, towers, basically. Um, oh man. Okay, sorry you guys. There, now can you see it? Gosh, I'm so sorry. This is embarrassing. I suck at streaming. Someday I will get it right. So, yeah. Chess. Hooray. Okay, so let's move along here. Um, let's look at Lords of the Elements. This looks kind of fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so here we got, oh brother, there are so many unfinished maps on this. So I think that the idea behind this map was like magic, the gathering, because there's like swamp here, <laughs> a really sad use of lava there for fire. I don't even know, let's see if I even have a description. Choose your elements. Sky, sea, blood, death, flame, or knowledge. Wow, that's kind of a surprising, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I came up with that. And I have one unit created, which is called an element lord. That's basically a revenant. Wow, I did not create anything on this. I should go through and, like, weed these out, because, I mean... It's kind of fun to have them as, like, memories, but at the same time, it's like, if all I did was create the map and then not even do anything, it's kind of lame. Okay, here's a good one. Alrad's Trek. Um, actually, you know what, let's just go straight into Warcraft 3. This works. It doesn't mess up again. And we'll see if this works. This will be a good way to tell, um, to just find the Reign of Chaos ones. Okay. Alarad's trick. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I didn't even know how to, like, force the player to be the race that I wanted to when I was a kid, so that's kind of funny. Um, Alright. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. So Alarad Goreblade is our hero of the story. I think I just thought he was a cool model with his like burning blade, um, blade master guy, which to be fair is a very cool model. I mean, look at his sword; it's like gilded and stuff. Pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, it's black again! Are you kidding me? Nope, we're good. We're good. Okay. So basically, with this, this is like an RPG that I made. And that's going to get on my nerves, so I'm going to turn off his responses. Oh, that's funny. Look at that. <laughs> I failed to even make a hint do the right color. That's hilarious. So keep keys and key artifacts in slot one? That's weird. I guess I didn't know how to make it look for an item in your inventory. Honestly, though, this was Reign of Chaos, so like it could have had... It could have been a lot harder back then to uh, make things work. Like, I may have had to be like, okay, if in slot one he has a key, then it opens or whatever. Anyway, old key. <laughs> oh, little Abel Hawk, listen to this. It's old, rusted, and looks about the size of a dungeon gate keyhole. <laughs> that 
that's hilarious. And look how terrible of the Blade Master he is. Mirror Image, Endurance Aura, and Sleep. Wow, okay, well, I guess I'll do Endurance Aura because it's attack speed, but... Hey, look at that, I made a spider come out of a crate. One thing I am kind of proud of is, well, I did piercing damage because I didn't know that you had to do that, or you, you didn't need to do that for piercing damage, but check out this out, like his, uh, he has like a searing arrows effect on his blade. And I can really see it there. Okay, open up. Broke it open with the key, apparently. And see, I mean, it's just kind of a fun little RPG. I had fun, like, you know, keeping the, fo the focus on him. Spider is, yikes, a spider nest, says Alarak. Die, I kill your babies. What the, these spiderlings must think I'm their mother or something. Oh, <laughs> just because I broke open their leg, their eggs, that's hilarious. See, spider brood mothers, you gotta break your own kids' eggs in order to... Oh, that's cool, did you see that? I made a spider corpse, so some of them just die instantly when you cut open their thing. Oh man, I forgot how bad the pathing is on Warcraft 3. I'm used, I've been playing StarCraft 2 lately, and it's just so nice how they all like rearrange themselves, like get out of the way when stuff like that happens. Whoa, are you are you spiders stuck? Oh, you know what? I was such an idiot. I think that these things have like... Look how big... Look, they won't even get close to each other. The pathing must be that bad. You know what? I don't need you guys. I'm sorry. Get away. Leave. All right, what do we got in here? We've got a demon gate of some kind that I can't get past. If I remember right, there's something over here. And guys, I made this literally like 17 years ago. Like these are so old. I was like 13. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, Wendigo's back, you beasts. I'm armed. Wait, wait, it's okay, we're friendly. So this is me making a cinematic. Friendly? Good. <laughs> He's like immediately at ease. Who are you? I am Alorad Gorblade, fighter of the Gashash lands. I am Aran, Mother Windigo of the Southern Areas. <laughs> So, excuse me, but maybe you could help us. An ice revenant placed a force field in front of all our treasure. <laughs> what a problem, right? A force field in front of the treasure. I can help you, blah, blah. Fill this vial with the waters of any fountain of mana and bring it to me. Um, This is me doing a quest, which is actually quite the feat in, War in Reign of Chaos, because they were kind of hard to make. Has a force field blocking her treasure. Fill your empty vial with mana water. So this is basically a copy of the the quest on that night elf level where the fur bolt's sick and you get a fountain of health vial. But I did a fountain of mana vial, and I guess the best way I could come up with was to say, uh, I need to cast a spell and I can't for some reason. Oh, cool. Hey, look at that. That's kind of cool. Look at that. I'm impressed with myself. I'm not really a fan of the sound, though, because it's not the sound of, like, building something. Uh, who are you? Warlock Alchemist. What do we have here? Oh. F fade filter fail. Hello, are you new to these lands? Yes, very new. In fact, I was just wondering how to get out of here. Do you know? Nope, I'm the wrong person to ask. Sorry. Say, maybe you could help me. Wow. Oh. So good at introducing quests, you guys. For my next potion, I need ten Murloc corpses. Unfortunately, I cannot leave the cell, and I have only six corpses. Uh, not to worry, my good friend that I've met like two seconds ago. I thought of that. Oh my gosh, he's going to make a meat wagon, isn't he? Behold the Warlock Dead Seeker. I invented it. It will store corpses. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Oh man, I was such a... Oh look, he's frozen. I still am pretty bad at making animations work, because like once he did that cast animation, he froze. Oh yes, how silly of me. How silly of me what? 
Oh, okay, there he did. He destroyed the door or whatever. And is there something here that's mine? Oh, that circle of power is mine. That's weird. Quest beacon. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. And you know where my quest is. Instead of the... I guess I could have just done the exclamation point. I don't think that that quest is done yet, by the way. So I'm not even sure if it's possible. But... Oh, okay. You can attack this. Oh, that was easy. Oh my gosh. Baby spiders. Okay, yeah. You can kind of see the searing arrows effect of his sword. Which I remember being proud of. Level 1 Fighter. Okay, now I get another useless ability. Okay, I made it. So he goes to the fountain. Oh look, it's the Revenant. Aha, trying to help people you don't even know, eh? That's showing more than I care for. Be gone from my maze, or should I have your spirit depart first? I will. Tell me how to get out. <laughs> oh, I do think it would be much funner to have you find it yourself. We shall meet again, you insignificant trespasser. I was a master of dialogue, you guys. What a weirdo. Well, better fill the vial. Oh, and I forgot to destroy the frost armor effect, which didn't even really... Okay, now I got a full vial of mana waters. <laughs> Bring the empty vial to a fountain of mana and refill it. That's pretty funny. Alright, so then I go here with the... You have one, thank you. I will cast the spell immediately. This actually I'm kind of proud of. You guys watch this. Boom. Oh, never mind, that was lame. But I do like how they run over and start enjoying their treasure. Thank you for revealing our treasure. I have part of a map that may be of assistance to you. And there it is. Okay. Oh, she said something else. If you find the other two thirds, you may be able to find your way out. Thank you, Aran. I'll never forget you. Don't mention it. Now we can enjoy our treasure. Good luck, Alarad. 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 Oh man, it was bad when I didn't have sound files to work with because... Oh snap, look at that. <laughs> I completed the Murloc one instead of that one. Honestly, I'm glad. I'm surprised this doesn't have more bugs. Oh, look at that. It was so hard to figure out the quest icons on Reign of Chaos because you had to know the path name. Uh, it, it, I remember the path was Ambush, which was sh the Shadow Meld icon. Otherwise, you just had to guess or you had to know the MPQ URL files and stuff. See, I'm not surprised that that broke, especially if I was trying to find something like an item. There are three parchments to the way map. You have one, but you must find the other two. Oh, and I can't take that out of the first slot, so I hope I don't, you know, <laughs> need a key or whatever. And honestly, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it's just a meat wagon. That's pretty hilarious. Dead Seeker. I'm pretty sure that there's nothing else. I think that's as far as I got, because... Oh, there's a Murloc. Never mind. Maybe I can... Actually, let me check, though. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't... Yeah, look, I can't even go up the ramp. That's all, folks, for Alarad's trek. But, honestly, I'm still impressed with myself. Like, that was pretty good for being a 13-year-old. And it's farther than I got on a lot of my other um, projects, so... Um, okay. I think... Look at this. Who will win? Probability. Grendel's 28%. Austin, 83%. That doesn't even add up. Oh, I think that's what I was saying. Like, I had a 1% more than 100% chance, or... I don't know. I was a weird kid, you guys. I'm a weird adult, but I was a lot weirder as a kid. I'm pretty sure that this is the first map I ever made. Oh, look at that, a Kodo hero. I think I just made him so you could have an inventory, like a pack mule sort of thing. Anyway, I basically made myself and gave myself all my favorite abilities. And I thought that he looked the coolest. Like, I, I wish that there... When I was a kid, I wished that there was, like, a mage unit on here because he's really cool. Um, but I didn't like that there wasn't an uh, icon for him. Um, and then the, it was the old priest icon when I played this last, which kind of bothers me. Anyway, 
the icon for this apprentice wizard is like the brown bearded rogue wizard. They just didn't make one for him, and I always thought that was a shame. Anyway, I've got Chain Lightning, Blizzard, Polymorph, Reincarnation, Evasion, Shadow Meld, and Spell Immunity. And then apparently there's like some Grendels. Yep, Grendel Taskmaster. Let's see how powerful I really am. Actually, wait. Sorry, my mouse sensitivity is a little fast. Here we go. Bring it on. Grendels. I think that the probability is a lot lower than 83% that I'm going to win young Awa, because good heavens. Oh, the mother Grendel, and it's only level one? What? And this is my brother, which is pretty funny. I don't even know what his abilities are. Why does he have fire spells, but he's shooting, like, frost worm shots? He has heal, though. That's nice of him. And then I guess this was to summon me if I died. <laughs> a great mage. I'm a great mage, you guys. Reincarnates, dodges, has shadow melt. What the heck is this? A gremlin? Apparently it's like a tower, like a building, because I can't move it. Yes, I can. What the heck? Set rally point. Let's just see if there's something that happens when I step on this. Probably not. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I just like to play around with the doodads. Okay, so this was like my first map. So I, I think I can give myself a break. But ever since I was a kid, I would love to just, I always just loved to make like maps and put myself in it. And I was the hero. Hmm. Austin Cinematic. Let's see what cinematic I made about myself. Oh, look at that. I, oh, that's actually better than I thought it was. I thought I just didn't. This isn't a cinematic, though. Like, I can control myself. I must have really liked Chain Lightning. Lightning has always probably been my favorite element. Look at that, I can't even move past it. What's the cinematic, though? I don't... This is kind of a cool town, but... But what's the point, though? I don't know, I'd have to get on the world editor to find out what the deal is with this one. Moving on. Austin's Escape. Oh, check it out. This was made on July 9th. When we first got Warcraft 3. Wow, okay, that's cool to know that it was July 9th of whatever year it came out. Cool. Okay, so the Grand Orators are... Orators. I thought it was like orators because that sounded cool. Um, cast a variety of spells depending on entirely which side you choose. Okay, so there was like a StarCraft 1 game where like the triggers on that were really weird where like you couldn't make your own abilities and so people would make like maps where you had like a unit up in the corner that could stand on different beacons to, to cast spells. I don't know if you guys played StarCraft 1 with those types of maps back in the day, but I, that's kind of what I created with that one. Austin's house. Austin's island. Austin's ultimate paradise. An island to himself. That's pretty funny. It seemed like I just wanted to be alone, I guess, back then in my own fantasy world. Yeah, I made play arounds, which were just... In fact, I'm actually interested in playing this one. Do whatever you feel like on this level. Harvest the crops or explore the town. Yeah, I didn't really like making maps where you actually had, like, long, intricate storylines. I just liked ones where it's just like, hey, let's just do whatever. Daniel Gallant. Let's see if he actually harvests. Hey, look at that, he's harvesting. And my food cap, not the total... The cap went up. That's hilarious. Can I chop wood? No. That's a shame. And I bet you anything, there's nothing back here. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a it's like a set on a TV stage. There's just nothing back here behind the curtain. I didn't finish very many maps, especially back then. Austin's Great Escape. I'll help Austin get out of Dalarak alive. 
Okay, this one I got to show you guys. This is good stuff right here. So this was when I first started messing around with the object editor. And I'll teach you guys this on my... <laughs> when I... Um, okay, look at this. Big fat peasant, teeny tiny abomination. <laughs> look at this little... <laughs> look at the... Um, the footprints. That's hilarious. And the collision is still off, but... Okay, there's an apprentice wizard. I really like those. But look at what you can do on the object editor. There's like, whoa, those are slow projectiles. Is that mine? Lord of Ages. Oh, you can do Sentinel? That's odd. Now what? Oh, brother. Anyway, so you got the huge bit peasant. You can mess up the, s the size. You can mess with the color. Targets. That's pretty funny. Is the abomination going to die? <laughs> whoa, that's a lot of blood for a little abomination. Look at these. Stink clouds. Carry on swarm. That's a weird thing to cast. And curse. Yeah, I didn't know what any of these abilities were when I first started messing around with this. I just like kind of put stuff together. I was like, oh, curse. Hey, big fat peasant, go check out whatever these things are. Goblin Zeppelin. What are these guys? Wolf sprites? Can I pick them up? Oh, I can. Okay. What can they do? Now I'm going to turn on the sounds for a little bit. Yes. I thought they'd sound like wolves or something. Windlord. Which looks kind of cool with the teal there. Um, so... I think... I'm fairly certain that there are some cheat codes on this map. You can make your own cheat codes on Warcraft 3. He's scared about his cage. Break open this cage. Yeah, scale really messes stuff up, you guys. It looks awful. Honestly, though, Warcraft 3 graphics have aged really well. I mean, that's boxy as heck, but it's better than Final Fantasy 7, you know? That game really needed a graphics update. Wow, that is quite the resilient cage, or the big fat peasant's just worthless. Goblin artifact seller. <laughs> that's interesting. Anyway, I think there's some... Actually, no, I don't think there's, there are cheat codes on this one, but... Eh, I was just messing around with stuff. Yeah, you can tell that I was having a lot of fun. I think that's enough of that one. But I remember just kind of making all those weird units and stuff. Okay, this is kind of funny, but I think that it locks you into the game because... It it stays in cinematic mode. Basically, it's like a rifleman, and he shoots a deer, and then a bear comes and eats him. It's maybe I'll fix it up for you guys later. Oh, I, that's one that I downloaded a long time ago. I wonder who the creator was of this chapter one of Hellfire. Interesting. Uh, oh, this one's kind of fun. I remember this one. So. I figured out how to do the green fog, which I'm actually kind of impressed with. That looks pretty good. And this is funny because listen to the centaur's voice. <laughs> it's a horse man, he's not a centaur. He's literally a uh, horse. So we got this maze that you can see on the mini map. Fail. It's going to be easy to figure that out. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. So it's like a tree maze. Oh, whoops. He's fury too fast, or whatever that is. Self bloodlust. Whoa, what is that? I think that's an infernal that's invisible. It has no name, it's invulnerable. Must just be for looks. Moving on down here. Oh, listen to the music. It's the Warcraft 2 music. That's funny. Is it sped up or pitched or something? I think that is pretty funny, though. The horse sounds with his, like, facial expressions. Like how he... Yeah, he does that with his mouth. It's pretty funny. Oh, what's that? That looks cool. Fairy ring of some kind? Ooh. That's kind of cool. Starfall effect. I 
Okay, I wonder what happens when I kill this creep lord. Ooh! What's going on? Oh, the starfall effect is the, um... No, you fool! Attack that! It's just gonna literally keep summoning them forever. Oh, snap. Oh, it's gonna reincarnate! Come on! I'm out of here. That's lame. Leave me alone! No, no, are they ordered to attack me at all costs? It's gonna suck. Let's see here. Okay, apparently they had some purpose. I don't know what it was. This, though, is what I'm... Oh, I don't want to fight you guys. Okay, so you, so you just go in here, and here's the main boss. The Master Creep. Oh, he shoots fireballs. Okay. Oh, snap. He's way too fast. That's creepy. I'm probably dead. Yep, I'm dead. Guess we'll never know what happens. Look at that tranquility effect, though. But there's no defeat condition. Anyway, just like the overall layout of that map was kind of nice, because I it was somewhat finished, at least. Crime, I wanted to make... a Snipe townsfolk before your explosives go off? I wonder if that was supposed to be like thief or something? I have no idea what Descent of the Harpies is. First of all, it should be Descent. But I think I just imagined like some harpies like flying over the barrens or something. It's kind of funny how a single idea can spawn the seed of a map that is never finished. Dragon Summoner. Maybe we'll come back to that. Uh, some of these I remember my idea behind them, but I never finished them. Fall of Mordor, I'm pretty sure, was created by somebody online. Oh, this one's fun. Okay. So I want to show you these... I'm showing you these crappy, like, new ones for... Oh, old man. We discovered some strange life forms in these felwood jungles. By entering unusual temples they call Lost Labs, they can become either orc-like humanoids or human-like ones. The newly made humanoids can mount the animals of Felwood. With these as help, we may be able to defeat the night elf people <laughs> infesting the <this> swamp. <laughs> Guys, I literally jumped into the map editor as soon as we got this game. And just started making stuff. I had no idea who the night elves were. <laughs> I had no idea what Felwood was. It was just the name of the tile set. Felwood Jungles. That's hilarious. Anyway, I'm showing you guys these crappy ones first, just because, like, I don't know how many of you guys have experience with the map editor, but these might be able to give you an idea of, like, kind of what's possible at very low levels. Alright, so these these unknown life forms, so I was really proud of this. Check this out. So, see, so you go here, makes it into an orc. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, so he's apparently an orc villager, um, and he can either ride a Kodo, now I got a Coda Rider! What's this? Does this destroy them? Yep, interesting. Um, and then over here, we get a human. And he can become a knight, right? Yep. And then we got. He can probably become a Wyvern. Yep. Wyvern Rider. And so apparently you go through and you just slaughter these blue ladies. This does not seem like they're infesting the swamp. In fact, they're not even enemies, they're neutral. This is pretty funny. What's this? Excuse me. I swear think those had anything in them. Anyway, I was really proud of that. Like, oh, you can change them into, you know, like there's an unmounted and a mounted version of each one. Watch the funny cinematic. Kind of afraid to, honestly. But, here we go. Oh, wow, this is glitched. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh yeah, and then he vomits in the well. <laughs> wow, you guys, that is that is art at its finest. <laughs> wow, 
That was amazing. Okay, moving on to... Uh, okay, this is a good one. So, I have a brother, and his nickname when, when he was really little was Kiki. And when he was really little, I was trying to, like, teach him to play Warcraft 3 or whatever. In fact, yeah, look at this. There's a whole folder called Kiki, and it's all just maps that he made and honestly it's just like a map full of like chimeras and like nothing else it's pretty funny but anyway where'd that one go this one i think i gave him where did it go here we go uh i gave him like a choice of like terrain i was like do you what, what kind of terrain and he chose grasslands to orc and so I was like you chose the grasslands here you come and so I made up a place called Kiki Drama which he was from and I think there's like two of these where there's just it's basically just like a big area and he could play around I'm actually really proud of this one because it's got an actual uh, order to it so see look at this it's like a third person game it's kind of cool right oh look at that it's gonna be dead yeah like whatever direction you face the camera kind of moves kind of cool Anyway, so, let me see if I remember how to do this game. It's really good though, I even, I even did like the, the sky and stuff, which is impressive. Looks really good with this third person. Better than a lot of my other stuff. Oh, come on, that should be a cage! That was supposed to be a cage. So what do we have here? Dead Stegosaurus. Um... Oh yeah, and it's Heroes 3 music, if you can hear that. It's kind of funny. I don't really want to fight these gnolls if I can help it. Alright, turn off the response again. Where's the... Okay, first you have to like find a blacksmith or something. Oh, hey! This is good night music, too, from Heroes 3. Okay, so first... You find this blacksmith, right? And you can make golems. Iron golem, steel golem, or mithril golem. And apparently you can upgrade those, but I don't think they do anything. Wait, do they? Hey, they do. You can upgrade your attack, and except it needs gold. Fail. Okay, so... <coughs> so you go over here to this tree. And you harvest it like a wisp. You basically hug the tree. Crap, that's a lot of birds. That's like anxiety inducing amounts of birds. <laughs> I can't remember how much it costs for the mithril golem, but we might as well go big or go home, right? We'll, we'll go to like 30 just to be safe. Anyway, I really liked making maps when I was a kid. It was a fun creative outlet. Um, I made a lot of maps on Heroes 3. Maybe I could show you guys those sometime if any of you like Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Um, I know a lot of, like most of you are here for Warcraft 3, but that was that's one of my favorite games of all time as well. All right, so you go here. Okay. Oh, only 20. Okay. So you forge the Mithril Golem. Oh my gosh, does it seriously take this long? I guess that's not too bad. So... I don't even know what... Is there even... Oh, the Cage Dragon. There's a dragon somewhere. It might be useful. Freed. Okay, so I have a couple of those things, but I don't really remember what the main quest is. Like, what the whole purpose of this is. Oh no! You know what? Screw it, I'm just cheating. Forge the Mithril Golem. Now, that is a long freaking time. Even with Warp 10. So there he is, Forge. Cool. Now I have a Mithril Golem, right? So then you go over to the Cage Dragon, I think. Oh, actually. It's hard when the camera's focused like this to control 2. Go beat up those nose. 
It's kind of cool. It's almost like War, Warcraft, uh, like World of Warcraft or something. And he's like my pet or something. I really like this camera thing. I'm surprised I figured it out. I'm pretty sure what I did though was basically every one second I would make the camera do that. Alright, so that's supposed to be a cage. I have no idea why it's a dragon thing. Oh man! Air. Oh, in that case, web it. Get it. Okay, yeah, that is really... So the cage is supposed to explode, and then... <laughs> now, he's ours. So then we go to... Oh, okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm pretty sure what you do next, which seems the most mysterious to me, is that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the dragon... Okay. Okay, destroy the tower. If it doesn't die. Hey, what are you doing, you idiot? Okay, we gotta get closer, I guess. Oh, it's invulnerable, of course. Can you attack this? Ugh. Oh, this is dumb. Okay, so there's something with the stegosaurus skeleton or whatever. Oh hey, I did get some gold though, I forgot about that. So I could upgrade my weapons if I wanted to. <sighs> anyway, there's something that you need to do. To open that gate. And I wish I remembered what it was. Let's just look around for a little bit. These random knolls for no reason are here. Okay, I really want that book. There's like a book in there. Okay, good. I'm just flying in. Okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, well... I guess I completely forgot how to do this, but basically you you resummon the soul of that dead stegosaurus for some reason, and it's like a wisp, and then you bring it to the stegosaurus and he comes back to life. I don't know how I expected my like six-year-old little brother to figure this out. <laughs> that's a long short of it, so yeah, so anyway, that's Grass on the Pika Drama. Anyway, some cool triggers, I guess, that you can do. Um, Happy Land Revolt. Oh, this is funny. Alright, let's just see this for the fun of it. More Heroes 3 music. It was a day like any other day in Happy Land. Fail with the golden text. Does he just start slaughtering everyone? Oh, and he's supposed to do the keep of the grove like none shall harm the wilds. Anyway, Apollo, that's interesting. Sheep leader. So he has command aura. Can these even attack? No, they cannot. Oh, and I have control of him for some reason. I think he has the voice of a. Uh, yep. That's pretty funny too, Keeper of the Grove. Anyway, useless, but kind of a funny opening cinematic, or at least I thought so when I was a kid. Hero game, huh? That probably doesn't work very well. These are a bunch of ones I made for my brother, but none of them really did anything that I can remember. That one looks interesting, but I'm gonna risk it for now. Just gotta show you some actually good ones, if there are any. 
Um, many different puzzles. I doubt it. Actually, let me check because there's a really cool one that I made. Nope. It's just a Scottish night elf man walking through a mysterious like a really mysterious weird maze. Yeah, I'm not going to waste time with this one. I made a lot for my brother, apparently. I just really wanted him to like computer games, and he did. Um, okay, this one has one thing that I was proud of as a kid that I'll show you. They always start out with a massive battle because my brother would just make everything different colors, which is different players. Oh, wow, look at that. This is, <laughs> that is horrifying. So I just want to show you this. So you see you got this freezing rain of... See, watch. You get on it, you get cold, and you freeze. And you can't move anymore. See? I thought that was kind of cool. And there's just chaos everywhere. Whoa. Those are kind of cool, though. It'd be cool if there was actually a... Uh, thing like that that's like red and shoots spirits and stuff. It's kind of cool. Cage, blah blah blah. Why does he have shadow meld? What in the world? Anyway, that, I was really proud of that ice thing. I remember. Um, oh, this, I can't believe that I made this little boy blue. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. Sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. I was like, I know, the horn of Cenarius. Cenarius, the sheep, torn in the corn. I don't know why what I was thinking, but. Okay, gotta show you the Mario things in a second, but let me just do something else first. You know, let's do, it's fine. We'll do Mario. Okay, so this is the only set of levels I made that have that, that are knitted together like a campaign. This is the most I've done. So it's like Mario, right? Dee 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 dee. And then you can press... Okay, look, there's a Goomba, right? And you can jump up and down by pressing H, and you can stomp them. See? <laughs> I can't believe I made this. This is hilarious. But yeah, you just basically... Oh, wow, glitching Goombas over there. Pow. So and then you get here... Oh wow, that wasn't even. I guess that makes sense. The um, path to the folder was broken as I moved these around over the years. So anyway, then you go to this level. It would have been fun if I would have at least imported Mario music. Maybe I did at some point and it increased the size too much. What's this level? It's just funny to me that this has absolutely. What's that? A shell creeper, okay, like the Koopas. I think they're called shell creepers in the really, really old Mario games that my brother and I would play, so that's probably why I kept that one. Oh, you hurt me. I only have two hit points. That would have been cool if I would have, like, shrunk, but it's just hilarious that there's just absolutely nothing to do with Mario whatsoever. And then you go to the snow area, which you probably maybe do the cave creepers, maybe? I don't know. This, uh, at least the terrain's kind of nice, like the the white and stuff. Yep, cave Hello creepers. There. They're those like blue things on Mario that you can. Basically, the snow Koopas. Oh. Okay, and then you reach Bowser's castle. Any guesses what Bowser's gonna be? Any guesses at all? Let's find out. And these are bone creepers. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, bone creepers like the uh, the skeletal Koopas that come back to life. Whoa, guys, you're really glitching out here. And I can't stomp them. Yep, it's manner off. Ha ha ha, you shall fall to fire, Mario. 
any time. Plenty of time to read it. Move along. Move along. You will never defeat me! Free the princess! And I'm pretty sure, yeah, he just auto wins. <laughs> A little bit overkill. And there's no princess, but there's a much brighter victory flash. And that's the end. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. Alright, we got time for a few more. Um, okay, so this one I'm kind of impressed with because I basically made my own race. And it makes no sense, and it's very uninteresting, but it works. Hours of fun, yeah, right. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's the town hall. It's a slavery pool. Oh wow, and I didn't even bother to actually make it a thing, but. <laughs> so these are wolf sprites, yeah, from the other game. That's why I thought they sound like wolves. Um, yeah, they can mine gold. Um, spike barricade, that's pretty funny. Um, so look at this, I just made my own technology tree and I thought it was so amazing. So dig a cache, a supply building, so it's like a tent. It doesn't have a construction animation, so. Um, what else can we make? A barracks, I don't know why it's a ballista thing. Oh, it's just a barracks, how boring. Lightning totem, eh? Allows lightning towers and power nexuses to be built. Regenerates its own hit points? That's kind of cool, I guess. Hmm. Um, altar of Wonder. You gotta have a one, an altar for heroes and for these sprites or whatever they are. It's, it's an Altar of Wonder. What do these cost? Oh, it's actually a fair... Okay, uh, now I can make a... Po what is this? Alright, so it's just a lightning totem. And a cache is like a farm. Oh, and these guys don't require any food. Uh, Alright, let's... Alright, fine. I'm gonna do a little bit of labor here. Why not? Might as well play it like it was intended to be. Look at this amazing melee map, you guys. Look, it's like there's a gold mine just right over there. It's awesome. Okay, what do we got for these? A bear lord. Bloodlust roar and war stomp? And it hurls boulders? That's kind of cool. Purple head spider. Interesting. I think that was the name of a spider I made up when I was a kid. I don't know why I called it a head spider. Kind of creepy, actually. Okay, what heroes do we got? A Keeper of the Grove, an Ice Spirit Master, and a Fire Spirit Master. Oh, that's cute. I basically just picked hero, fi hero abilities that fit these three elements. I don't even know if I changed that one. It's like a Keeper of the Grove, but maybe it's a tree? Ice, yeah. Frost Armor, Frost Nova, Cold Arrows, and Tranquility, and then Firebolt, Immolation, Crickle Strike, Rain of Fire. Whatever. Um, but I want to see... Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Face of a bear. Furbolg, but... Does, does he throw boulders? I want to see. Hey, look at that. That's actually kind of cool. I did that right. And then he can roar. Roar stomp. Roar, etc. Purple head spider. It's just a spider. A poison attack against air? I'll remember that. Uh, wolf sprite, can you make an armory? Wait, can these guys do armory? Uh, to do lumber too? <laughs> That's adorable. He's cutting it down with his claws like that. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit around here all day. Uh, let's do an ice spirit. Ma no, I want to say the fire spirit master. Uh, okay, so we got those. Make an armory. I want to see what an armory is. That's funny. It's an altar. You guys can stop now. Build me more stuff. I want to see what I made. Oh, a lot of stuff requires the armory, so that's good. It's noteworthy that the town hall can't upgrade, which is kind of weird. Hurry up! I must see what I'm 
Okay. Igniti Sarno. I must have made the names myself. This is kind of cool, I guess. I guess I thought that Reign of Fire was the ultimate ability, though, but it's not. So, because back then they didn't have Pit Lords as a playable hero, so that was like the secret ability, I guess. And then it's just basically an armory. What are these things? Lightning Tower, okay. A roost. Oh, it's so weird to just see all these buildings like with different models and junk. What does this do? Oh, it only attacks air units? That's not very good. Oh, okay, so you have air lightning tower for air and fire tower for ground, okay. Oh my gosh, a mutton transport. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Yep, it's a giant flying sheep and it picks. <laughs> that is pretty hilarious. I like that. Flying pink sheep, everybody. Awesome. Um, then what does this do? Okay, yeah, shoots fireballs. And this shoots lightning. Ooh, apparently that has as much hit points as a normal sheep. Anyway, I don't know if this is boring, you guys, or what, but basically, the map editor is really, uh, the map editor is really powerful. You can make stuff like this. You can make your own entire race if you wanted to. Mm, this was based on a weird comic that I made when I was in ninth grade about the Slavs. I don't Actually, let me check this real quick. A half an hour later, <laughs> it's like this is part of a longer campaign. Chapter 15, half an hour later in the main capital of Brujix. Oh, look at this, a cutscene. Yep, Phoebus the Wise. That was my alter ego I made up for myself. The Slavs have been loyal for generations. By Slavs, I thought I was being clever and making up a name for, like, slaves. I didn't realize there was an actual people called Slavs, like the Slavic nations or whatever, so that's kind of funny. <coughs> oh yeah, and he patrols just like Uther. That's... Cute. Lord Aeroporth, huh? Um, Thebus the Wise is overpowered. He basically has mastery, which is kind of funny. And like three auras, what the heck? Oh, wow. Yep, he's supposed to shoot lightning, but I didn't do the lightning effect, so that's kind of funny. And over here we have some archers doing absolutely nothing. Archmage doing absolutely nothing. So there's supposed to be like all these little slaves or whatever, which are like kind of like halflings, I guess. Like, like they're small people, and so in this, it, in my comic, they were small halfling slaves, basically, which is kind of weird. But um, in the in this game, they're like children, I guess. What the heck is wrong with... Okay, whatever. It's... I don't really understand. I thought I had more to that one. Um... Rise of the Giants. Great action, it says. Let's find out. Oh, dang it. I, it used to have... It used to have like a cinematic that was kind of cool, like basically he summoned all the different giant lords and there was like the, there was like Orgath and Kortom and I don't know, each one was a different ancient. Oh, you guys have seen Salem Witch Trials, I think I showed that a couple months ago, Coming of the Dead. See, it's funny because like they're there's decent ideas with this, right? Like, destroy as many zombies as you can to become an angel of the realm. Cool, right? But it's basically just, like, endless zombies. And I think I had the idea of, like, a paladin attacking with holy light. Oh, hello. I've got to become an angel. 
To fulfill my quest, I have to kill 50 zombies using holy light. Don't let them come too close. This ought to be rich. Yellow looks kind of cool on a paladin. So he turns around, and I guess you're supposed to stop him from stepping here or whatever. Oh, there's a quest. Oh, cool. Kind of cool. Animate dead. Soul preservation. Oh, that's interesting. So this is an ability that no, Malganus has in the campaign, and apparently it only works on zombies, but does it work from over here? Okay, this is kind of cool, actually. But look, he's wandering. The, uh, there's... Yeah, see, there's, like, too much of a cooldown. If I would have changed that down, it might have been fun, but... Anyway, good times anyway. Oh, okay, this is... Oh, what do I have? Oh, okay. I need to delete that one sometime. This is kind of funny. I really hated Arthas when I was a kid. I thought he was, like, the worst villain ever. And so I made this cinematic. I just realized this is on my channel, actually. I think I saved this. It's kind of funny. But... He gets mad, and... Claws his head off. <laughs> or at least twists it around. So how I did that was, you know in the cinematics when the, the characters look around with their heads? You can lock their heads to look at certain things. But if you make them look at something that's right under them, their head will basically fold into their chest and look like they were decapitated. So that was pretty funny. Yeah, I just hated Arthas a lot. The Hard Lands. So when I was... Okay, this is really old Warcraft stuff, you guys. When I was in second grade... No. Third grade? When I was really little, like seven or eight, I played Warcraft 2 all the time. I loved Warcraft 2. I actually got it for my eighth birthday, which is kind of funny because it's a teen game. I don't think my mom realized that when she gave it to me. But I loved Warcraft 2. I should write a blog post about this sometime. Um, but anyway, I basically made my own fan fiction about Warcraft 2. Like, I got the units in the game, and I just put them together in whatever way I thought was interesting. I, did, I had no idea who the actual characters were, and I just kind of made my own story about them. So, this is, I made a bunch of maps on Warcraft 2 that was like the story of Khadgar, who's my favorite character because he was cool, and he was like the king of Alterac and Lordaeron. Like, I just had a bunch of names. I didn't even know how they fit together, but, you know, that's all I did. Anyway, so I made the Hardlands, and I have many times thought about remaking those on Warcraft 3 and, like, coolifying them, if that makes sense. Like, basically making them more, like, translating my weird kid ideas of what was cool into what is actually cool. Kind of like how on, like, Marvel movies they, um, changed, uh, what's his name, Aquaman to, like, be freaking manly instead of like a blonde kid with like a speedo, right? And so, oh, there's Cadgar's Tower. Oh, wow. Gavin Rad Dagger Dyer. Okay, this was like a complete reimagining. Anyway, long story short, it's because of the Hardlands that you guys have Warcraft 3 Easter eggs because I was going to. Oh, well, that's cool. I was looking inside the Warcraft files trying to find out if I could make my own custom maps. You know, like the loading screens, like the next day near Hillsbrad, and it shows an X by Hillsbrad or whatever. I was trying to figure out how to make my own ones of those, and I found the map files in the MPQ. And I opened them with the um, map editor, realized there was a bunch of secrets in them that weren't online, and the rest is history. So, anyway. That's the story of the Hardlands. Um, let's look at a few more, and then I think we'll close up for the, for today. Now let's search as Northern for the dragons. Maybe we'll look at that one later. Well, actually... Okay, that's the first level of the Hardlands, I remember. Cadgar's Saviors? That's kind of funny. Thief, I really wanted to make a sneaky game, but it never worked out. Warcraft Chess... Oh gosh, buttered toast boy. So, if you guys have watched Ed, Ed, and Eddie, 
I had a friend who was obsessed with that show, and apparently, I've never seen it because it looks really stupid to me, but like, apparently they're always talking about buttered toast and gravy. <laughs> anyway, he would always say that, and so I made a level called about Gravy Guy and his sidekick, Buttered Toast Boy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that's still on here. And this is based on a thing I made at school but I'm not going to play it because it has me doing my vo own voice acting and it's really bad, so I'll spare you. Um, man, this was based on a card game I made. I work on a lot of projects, you guys. I always have. I made all kinds of stuff and then I tried to adapt it into a Warcraft 3 map. <laughs> Engine Runner, Gods of Ash and Vale. Man, look at all these things that might have been. Three Islands, one winner. Is that a, supposed to be a melee map? I don't even remember that one. Battle of the Gods, Lord of the Elements. Oh, Mini Gunners. I did not make that. And then I don't know what this is. It's probably a melee map that I changed something about. Okay, fine. We'll look at uh, we'll look at this real quick, and then we'll call it good. So this one's actually kind of cool. Oh, come on. I missed the chance to do a northern one. Malith, Dragon Hunter of Lordaeron, has reached the island of Northrend to conduct a search for three legendary dragons to help him on the rest of his quest. Ooh, that was cool. Lord Malith, we have secured the landing and are ready to start exploring the island for the lost dragons. We only have two swordsmen left, but we found a wandering drake lizard. If we need more troops, there is a mercenary camp nearby, but this will do for now. Does the rumors of the Death Lord's return bother you, my lord? Of course, but we don't have time to worry. We must round up the three dragons and return to the ship. Besides, the Death Lord's cultists are supposed to be dead now. Let's go. So we got a dragon hunter, and he has a bunch of random abilities. And a drake lizard, which... Is basically a coda beast. This has command or that's funny. Does it attack? Yep, it breathes fire. Swordsman. I don't know why that's the icon for that. Frost dragon, sludge dragon, and ghost dragon. So let's just find out what happens here. So that's the gate that we can't open until we free the dragons. So. Holy crap, he's powerful. And there go my guys. Wish I had defend right now. Potion of healing for the... Oh, okay, so see, the ag... So he was supposed to be constantly casting, you know, like doing the acolyte uh, animation, but it didn't work, so that was unfortunate. Anyway, so then we destroy this, now that it's vulnerable. Get the ghost dragon. So it's basically a frost worm that's slightly transparent and it shoots spirits. So it's kind of cool. And it has enemy dead. Let's use that right now. Yeah, there we go. So now we gotta go find the other ones. Oh, look, one of the little things is gone because we freed one of the dragons. There are three dragons that Aerith the Death Lord locked up decades ago. <laughs> Funny, I'm like looking for lore in my own ancient game. I feel a strange power emanating from this gate. We won't be passing here. Alright, let's fight. Can, I, can animated dead? No, he can't. Can't suppose. Acolyte has lost his power. <laughs> this is so useless. Yeah, I was so bad at animations. I still don't really fully know how to do them, but the cage is vulnerable and he explodes for some reason. Now we have the Frost Dragon. You know, the Frost Dragon's really uncreative. I mean, it's just a blue dragon, right? 
gosh, I must have based him on like a paladin or something because he's like running in front, which is really not helpful. Alright, so the last one is up here, I believe. Oh, yep. Don't kill Malith, please. I don't want to start over. Oh, orb of lightning. Oh. Wait, what? I didn't finish him, did I? Cage is vulnerable. Yeah, I could have died, like, while that happened. Immolation. Why would I want immolation? It's a ranged character. It doesn't want to be up front. Okay, and here's the sludge dragon. And the sludge dragon breathes sludge, like the sludge monstrosities or whatever, and it's poisonous. So. Alright, so is that everything? Oh, I didn't even get the frost dragon. So then, you go to the door, which you could just fly over because you're a freaking dragon. And all of them are gone. And please tell me I programmed what would happen next. Seriously? Okay, you know what? Just fly over. Can you just fly over the gate? Yep. <laughs> and there supposedly summoning the Death Lord, and then you fight him with all the dragons. Okay. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Well, that was fun, you guys. Um, thanks for tuning in to Able Hawk. I mean, Able Talk. And we'll see you next month. But before next Able Talk, I'll probably have a special series of streams helping you guys... Uh, make a map um, just to celebrate me having 10,000 subscribers thank you guys for subscribing for supporting me um, I also have uh, an announcement for something cool that I'm partnering with a website uh, the Hive Workshop is doing something and I'll be giving you more details on that as they become available so um, yeah hope you guys have a good rest of your night, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.